A local man who claims to be a dog trainer is now facing an animal cruelty charge. That charge tied to an incident caught on camera in his own front yard. Well, that video is now going viral on social media as people question, is there going to be any accountability? Investigative reporter Angie Riccono has some answers and she joins us now live in studio. And Angie, what have you learned? Well, yes, that person in the video has been charged and there's an ongoing investigation. The video is tough to watch. We want to let you know we are going to be responsible. And we're only going to show a portion of it. We are not going to show anything graphic here tonight. The video starts with Matt Fiala of Pleasant Hill, Missouri. He's walking around the yard with a young German Shepherd and he eventually takes a picture of the dog. Now, police tell us Fiala advertises himself as a trainer and boards dogs but he has no business license with the city. He was cited for that and for having more animals than allowed. Plus, and here's the big one, animal cruelty. Eventually, Fiala shoves the young German Shepherd in the crate, we're not gonna show that, douses it with water, and when the animal tries to escape, he begins tipping and flipping the crate over with the dog inside. Then when he opens the gate and the dog tries to escape again, he starts kicking the gate, which is right near the dog's face. So we're going to slow down that video. We're stopping it. And in this video, you can hear the German Shepherd yelp and cry, not showing any portions of this because it's inappropriate to broadcast. Now, the person who took the video tells me he wanted proof of what was happening and says this was not fair to the dog. The police chief tells us there have been complaints before, but they were anonymous. This time, the video was directly turned over to him, so there's evidence. Chief Tommy Wright says he's working to turn over more information to the Cass County prosecutor. In the meantime, there are municipal charges. We have attempted to reach out to Matt Fiala. So far, we have not had a response. Now, local trainers are stepping forward to clarify they aren't the company and they have no affiliation with the name that is now floating around on social media. By the way, that name is not what we found registered with Matt Fiala with the Secretary of State. He does own a business, Heartland K9 PSA, but it is unclear if he operated additional businesses under a different name. Angie Riccono, KCTV5 News. Sharon. Well, thank you, Angie.